Hello and welcome to the Lone Star Conference Virtual Media Day here on the campus of Texas A&M Kingsville. We're here in the Steinke Physical Education Center. We're here with head men's basketball coach Omar Gonzalez. We've got Alan Singleton and Isaiah Payne to his left. And coach, it's now your second season as head coach and uh, is having that year under your belt in the big chair helpful at all? Yeah, Christian, great to be back here for another media day. Uh, great to be back at Texas A&M Kingsville for my 10th year. Uh, definitely, you know, I've, I've been a part of this program in three different facets, from a grad assistant to an assistant to now the head coach. Uh, and to get a another full recruiting class under my belt and, and guys that I know uh, bleed the blue and gold in our program back. You know, we have seven returners and 10 new guys that are learning the true culture of being a Havelina and taking our game to the next level every day has been really exciting. But most definitely the experience of being back a second year uh, and really getting all the first year jitters out uh, is, is good to, and exciting to be back. Now you guys are picked 13th in the Lone Star Conference preseason poll. Your reaction to that? You know, I think our league is very tough. If you go back and you look at it last year, 12 teams could have easily been in the regional tournament. Uh, it's a shame that our tournament, it only takes eight. And that, that I think has turned a bigger uh, controversy in our league because I think that the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th team could easily be represented in the, in the national tournament. Uh, I speak from experience because we were the last 12 team to make it to the regional tournament all the way to the conference championship. So being picked 13th is just motivation uh, to get back to work and continue to work every day to make sure that our guys reach the goal of making the, the top eight and being in the conference tournament in Frisco. But at the end of the day, you know, like I said, this league is so tough that you can pick one through 16 and, and represent the league just as well. Now, Alan, I got one for you. You started, obviously, a number of games last year, had a very solid year, but now as an upperclassman, is your approach at all different? How do you feel, you know, sort of being one of the leaders now on the team? Uh, being one of the leaders now on the team, just coming in with a different mindset for sure. Um, I do have a do have freshmen under me now, just making sure that I'm doing everything that I can for just showing them the rights and wrongs of the program, making sure they have the right, I want to say, just – attitude about themselves coming into showing their own, showing them the right things and just making sure that this year isn't isn't some a year I don't I want to regret always good to show the young kids how it's done as I got one for you too uh, obviously you only played in seven games last year before you went down with an injury talk me through that rehab process the mindset coming into this year does that make you a little bit more hungry Oh yeah, it makes me a little bit more hungry. But I mean, I'm always had the same mindset. I mean, it did take a little bit of toll on me, watching our team, like just being away from the team. But I still always have the same mindset, just approach the game. I mean, the best I can to help my team win. Now, you guys started uh, ten different players last year. Started a game for you. Uh, obviously, it's you know due to injury and some things out of your control, but. Is it a benefit at all to look back and say, well, now we've got all these guys with starting experience? I think, to me, uh, experience, take the starter part out of it. I think experience is the most important thing. I have two guys to my left who have been in this program for three years together. Uh, you know, Isaiah and Zay uh, was given – Zay is what we call them. <laughs> Zay was given, a, a, you know, a gift – to, to be able to come back and get medically cleared to have one last chance. Uh, and that's all I really wanted for him because he deserved it. You know, I think he was having a great start last year uh, and he was playing through injury. And it came to a point where we were just, you know, we always think what's best for you past the ball bouncing. And it was important to us for him to get back and get healthy and fight to try to get him another year to come back because he deserved that opportunity. But Alan, Isaiah, Nate Garcia are three guys that have been in our program the longest. Uh, so they carry experience, even when I was an assistant, of what our culture and program needs to be. And obviously last year was not to our standards in the sense of winning, but I don't think our culture suffered. Uh, I think we did everything the way that we wanted it to. I think we established everything that we wanted to establish. And the reason why there were so many rotations lined up is because we had to continue to set standards and, and, and elevate ourselves to a certain point. So yes, it does include experience, but I don't necessarily think being a starter has anything to do with it if you're doing what you need to do. 
our starters don't always end games. Our guys off the bench don't always end on the bench. It's always whoever's playing the best, whoever's competing the best, whoever's doing what helps our program win day in and day out. That's who ends on the court. So I get the whole starter thing, and, and I tell it to them. It's not the most important thing. It's just the consistency of continuing to improve. That's what matters in this program. Coach, Alan, Zay, thank you guys for joining us here at the Lone Star Conference Virtual Media Day from Kingsville, and good luck this season. Go Habs.